morning guys from another early Sunday morning in Richmond Park. It's about 6.30, 6.40 I think and um, dawn, sunrise was I don't even know what that was this morning. But anyway, it's not long after sunrise. The sun is over there. It's a wonderful mid to late summer, I guess. Getting on for late summer now, mid to late summer uh, morning. And it is glorious, it really is. It's fresh, it's a little bit cool, I suppose, this morning. Not as warm as it was last week but it's nice, it's got that, that early morning freshness to it. A bit of bite, but you know, nice, beautiful. So I may have spoken about this before, I'm not sure, but I wanted to talk this morning about um, the power of letting go, just letting go of old energies, um, old um, memories. Uh, experiences um, that are kind of holding us back because we're holding on to them. Probably things that, <clears throat> well, two things I think, you know, one, an experience, an event um, of the past that was good, that felt good, that we want more of, that we're, um, we are uh, unable for whatever reason, to, to let go of it. We're, we're, we're holding on tight to it, gripping onto it. You know, it's something that we can't quite let go. Or the opposite side of that would be an event, an experience that we didn't enjoy, that was painful, um, that uh, affected us in, in some way that we uh, still think about. We can't quite let go of it. You know, we, um, we, we, we're kind of, constantly revisiting the pain of it. Either way, to, to move forward and to, uh, to find um, peace in our lives, we've got to let these experiences and these energies around them that um, are still part of us, that we're, we're, we're reluctant to release and let go, we have to find a way of letting them go, releasing that energy releasing it, letting it go, moving on, so that we can move on, so that that energy, the energy wants to go, it wants to escape, it wants to leave us, it doesn't want to stay knotted up inside of us, uh, causing um, you know this disturbance. And it is disturbance because when you're aware of your energy and how you feel, you'll realize that there are certain things that trigger um, this disturbance, you know, this 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 ugly energy, you know, that you, you find a turn for the worse. You feel this 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 bad energy, and it's often around, you know, these past experiences that trigger this energy. You've got to be aware of that, and it really is kind of disturbance within. And I often use the analogy of, if you think of um, water in a stream, flowing downstream, when it comes to rocks in the water, how it hits the rocks and has to go around the rock, how it's, um, it's affected, its flow is affected, that has to find a way around the rock. That is what I think is going on inside. You know, you've got your energy flow and the disturbance is hitting these these rocks, these these points within that are kind of holding the flow, the natural flow of the energy, and that is our past experiences. You know, things that we can't let go of either because we're holding on to them because they feel good, we want more of that, please, and we're seeking more of that, or bad events and bad experiences that we that affected us in such a way that they left an imprint, and we can't quite let go of them. But we have to find a way of letting go. Letting go, accepting that they were events, experiences given to us by the universe, 
Um, they were no, they weren't good, they weren't bad. They were only what we perceive them to be and then the energy follows. But let them go. Find a way to let them go. Release them, release the energy. Let go of that, that focus and that control that they have on us. Only then can our energy flow freely and then we can welcome the next event and experience that comes our way in life. And that's really all we need to do, just live and experience every single beautiful, wonderful moment that comes before us in life and let it go and experience the next and then the next and then the next. Let's not let our lives be controlled by past experiences. So that's my thought for the day and it's a big one. It's a big one. When you learn how to do this, um, you bring yourself into living in the present moment, which is where fulfillment, peace and happiness reside. It really is. So let's try and do that. Um, there you go, guys. Comment, like, that would be very well appreciated. Um, always like to hear what you guys are thinking and uh, I will uh, reply. Like as well, that would be appreciated. Subscribe to my channel too, you can do that here or here. And uh, have a great one. Let's talk next time. Ciao.